everything is just dessert. So I was like, you know, rock on, Lolsack. I, I can see you doing the right thing now. And, and not only that, I mean, they are causing some serious damage now. I mean, they are thumbing their noses at all authorities throughout the world. I think it's pretty ballsy that they're basically saying that they're not scared. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, if they get taken down, they're ready to they're ready to go. You know, I mean, I think that's uh, it's pretty ballsy there, man. I mean, it's uh, I mean, you know, look. What what really gets me is the causes. It, it's not the fact that these people are causing mischief. It's the fact that they're doing this for causes, for reasoning, to throw spotlights on particular subject matters. It's not like before when Anonymous, uh, you know, took down Sony with a denial of service attack because of uh, you know GeoHot and that ridiculous sellout. No, but now now they're actually doing things for political, economic, uh, and, and, and other type of purposes, and I think that they need to, if they're going to continue to conduct this type of activity, they need to do it uh, in, in these types of uh, constructs, if you will. I agree, and as I said, I think it's nice to see them going with a solid motive, a solid kind of modus operandi, and also being big enough to see the the bigger picture and, you know, not just childishly kind of bragging, oh, my God, we've we've managed to steal some files. Let's publicize them for anyone. They've actually been somewhat moral with them. And I, I think, as I said, I think it deserves respect. And as you said, you know, the fact that they're, um, you know, they've got decent causes behind them, I think it's brilliant. Um, so, I mean, one of the other things I wanted to address, I mean, I'm loving the fact that, you know, you take a week off and I've had my fingers crossed for about a week, Ghost, that we'd come back and despite enjoying your great success that we wouldn't have 400 plus users in the chat room, it's just, you know, I thought at the beginning I was able to say hello to some people and it's just full up of fucking bronies. <laughs> I mean, what the hell's up with these damn bronies, for Christ's sake, man? I mean, it just seems to me that these guys just won't get, you know, they take it, they just can't get a hit, man. They can't get a hit. It's just like, um, you know, I just like I talked to some people, and then I just watched it just go, okay, 90 people, 100 people, 150 people, 220 people. I'm like, what the fuck? It's just full of stuff like bro hoof, and it's just like, and even right now, people are just like spamming shit, like, get off Brit bag. It's like, why? So we can have more people calling and going, hurt, I like ponies, can you get mad? It's like, oh, you fucking twats. I mean, and, and this is the, this is the world nowadays. The absolute pussification of the male, the absolute utter pussification of the male, has been implemented, and this brony little group concept is just a signature, uh, stating that obvious point. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, you know, it, I think it's kind of I'd like to say flavor of the week, but I think it's going to be flavor of the year. But what can you do? Um. But I actually, I actually had, I mean, this is almost kind of a welcome back present, Ghost, um, because we had the, do you remember, is it electric fence sheep or something like that? Electric sheep fence? Is yeah, right? yeah, Ele electric fence street, I think is the name, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of, you know, I mean, I, like an awful lot of people, were actually genuinely missing you, and as you know, um, a mutual friend, let's say, I'm not going to name anyone in this, kind of called you up on your mobile, and, you know, I, I don't... You know, I'm not privy to any details, but I mean, when you kind of vanished off the face of the earth, I, I was a little bit worried, and so it's nice that this individual was able to reach you and just let us know that you were okay, because I was just like, you know, you were kind of complaining about, you know, um, stomach ulcers and stuff. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that instead of being laid up in a hospital, you were just kicking ass and capitalizing. But um, whilst I couldn't do anything creative in terms of musical I, I did do you a kind of a little tribute thing um which i'd like to pimp if that's okay i, I think uh, you I go ahead. Quite enjoy it. um yeah so i mean given the success and the fact it's baller friday i've actually created a little bingo card generator at zeki.net stroke baller friday bingo which anyone can go to they can listen along and have all the fun with the baller friday stuff and um as I said to you on your last show, I said carefully, you know, do, are you happy with people using your logos and trademarks and stuff? And you said, yeah, as long as there's a couple of return links. So you have total support from me, and you've got links to the station, your Twitter, and your Capitalist Army, sir. Well, that's all, that's all I expect, man. Hey, thanks a lot to Zeki for, uh, for calling up, and that's all I really expect, man, is uh, if you're going to be using anything, go out there and link back to the website, link back to the show, and follow me on Twitter, for Christ's sake. 
Follow me on Twitter. Ghost Politics is the name to follow for all the folks that are tuning in to the chat or listening in right now. Ghost Politics, all right? Uh, let me ask the engineer if there's any. Hey, is there anybody uh, tweeting right now, engineer? Uh, you know, that's that's how it is, you know? I mean, that, that, that's how it is, for Christ's sake. I mean, let's go ahead and see if we got any goddamn uh, people tweeting. If you if you want a shout-out, of course, for you folks that are unaware, just send me a tweet. Ghost politics is the name, all right? Let me know what's going on, all right? <laughs> Let me know what's going on. Hey, who, who else we got? We got uh, Darian Cutler. What's going on, Darian Cutler? We got... Uh, Centinius, what's going on? We got Navy Husky, even though he's calling me a fascist, uh, which which is ridiculous, which is a false indictment, all right? We got uh, Koshi Okaku, or uh, Koshi Katsu, excuse me. Uh, we got Poco Hamster. We got Boy on Pluto. We got Anal Tooth Fairy, for Christ's sake. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Fire Bro, what's going on? Who else we got? Who else we got, Engineer? Uh, we got Ahmed. We got uh, Bike Boy 93. What's up, man? Uh, we've got Anton Fontaine. Uh, we got Grandma Logan. What's up? Uh, the Aborted Fetus. Rubrica Lou. What's up? Deuce Carr. What's going on, man? We got a lot of people texting or actually texting. They're, they're, they're tweeting. That's what they're doing. They're tweeting up. They're tweeting up. We got Red Plum. What's going on? <laughs> Woo! Uh, who else we got going on? We got, uh, keep, keep them coming. Keep them tweets coming, for Christ's sake. Oh, these are, these, oh, now, now here come the disgusting, despicable, sexually perverted uh, names here, all right? Jesus Christ. Cosbro is in the place. What's going on? Happy Baller Friday to all you folks out there. Anyway, that's about it. That's about enough of that, all right? That's about enough. Gabriel and P, all right? What's going on? Anyway, uh, I want to take some more calls. We're talking about the Lowe's Boat. And I want to hear what you have to say about it. 646-652-4869 is the number to call. Let's go ahead and take some more callers, shall we? Uh, we got 858. You're on the horn. Hey, Ghost. How's it going? Yeah. I think Lulsec is sort of like the pirates of the internet. Not the people who download all these movies for free and act like they're totally bad. No, these are the real pirates. They're the pirates in what sense? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, it's just like how pirates, like how we see the pirates out in the seas who are wrecking shit and totally just trying to kick ass. Yeah, well, no, I hear you. You know, I mean, you know, that's what uh, the hacking community likes to call or reference their elite skills and the ability to be able to maneuver around certain exploits to gain administrative access to certain networks. I mean, they call it, hey, I'm a pirate, I'm elite, I'm a hacksaw. Uh, but let me tell you, you know, LulzSec, uh, you know, they have raised the bar as far as it, uh, it's concerned when it comes to hacking and public relations. Because let's be honest, we all know that, uh, you know, LulzSec is probably utilizing all the same programs that everybody else uses out here that wants to participate in this type of, you know, hacking activity. What is it? Uh, the, the, the Tor and Apache Zero Day, you know, you know all, these, all these little programs that were pre-written by a programmer so that, uh, you know, Individuals using their own IP address can, you know, uh, uh, utilize these programs to infiltrate some of these networks, so on and so forth. But either way, regardless on the methodology, even if they are script kiddies, so to speak, all right, they are doing this in a sense of br putting brilliant spotlight and brilliant PR on subject matters that need to be addressed, all right? They need to be addressed, for Christ's sake, and it's about time that the youth of America, I'm talking about the youth of America and the youth of the world, is finally starting to stand up and say, hey, it's our turn. It's our turn to take over this world. It's our turn to assert our authority. It's our turn to view our perspective. And it's our turn to bring in modernity. It's time to bring in a new age of modernity in this world. No longer. 
longer should we accept these primitive concepts of nationalism, religion, theocracy, culturalism, racism, political romanticism, all these ridiculous isms that have done nothing but cause human strife. It is time for modernity to come through. And that's what capitalist wants. That's what capitalist wants. Anyway, 646-652-4869 is the number to call. The Lowe's Boat. You know what it's about. It's back. <laughs> it's back, baby. <laughs> Woo! Anyway. Oh, man. Woo! Man, I'm getting, I'm getting a little, little hype here, man. I mean, can, can you hear the passion? I mean, can you hear the fury, for Christ's sake? I mean, I'm, I'm pumped. It's Bowler Friday, for Christ's sake. I mean, we got the Lowe's boat going on. We got the freaking Lowe's boat. The Lowe's boat. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Anyway, let me go ahead and continue on. We talked a little bit about Lowell Second Anonymous. Now it's time to start talking about the explosions and gunfire that is rocking Oslo, Norway. And for you folks that are unfamiliar, in the capital of Norway, which is Oslo, uh, explosions from some kind of a vehicle made uh, uh, improvised explosive, explosion device actually detonated uh, in the middle of some kind of goddamn government building, you know, in, in an attempt to try to, uh, I guess, cause some collateral damage amidst some of the bureaucratic infrastructure in that particular country. Moreover, after the bomb uh, that you know went off in Norway uh, to basically, uh, uh, you know, try to cause some collateral damage around government buildings, uh, they had a uh, person dressed up as a police officer shooting into crowds at random. You know, I mean, shooting into crowds at random, for Christ's sake. Now, we did have some, uh, you know, makeshift jihadist group uh, basically taking credit for this, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a jihadist group taking credit for this, and they're, they're saying that they, the reason that uh, this particular terrorist act was implemented is because of Norway's assistance uh, to the United States in the war in Afghanistan – Moreover, uh, the Muslim extremist that implemented this particular terrorist operation wasn't particularly happy with all the drawings of Mohammed. You know, you know, they weren't really happy with the fact that they, you know, they, they drew a little Mohammed in a couple of their pictures. And this is what happens. I mean, do you understand how stupid and primitive religion is at this point in time, folks? I'm not an atheist. But look at what religion has inspired. It's stupid. It's pathetic. That's why I'm saying, folks, I'm a capitalist, all right? I'm not these ass clowns out here that are going to be swooned by these primitive concepts. They're primitive. All these concepts of theocracy and political romanticism and these ideas of racism, culturalism, they're primitive. There is no need to hold any kind of major significance into these old primitive concepts, but the only reason that they're still around is because the systems built around these institutions are not going to let them die. They're not going to let them die, folks. Do you understand? The church is not going to go away. All right? the, the, the Muslim extremists aren't going to go away. All right, The racists aren't going to go away. The culturalists aren't going to go away. I mean, this is just going to continue to go on until we, and I, what I mean by we, I'm talking about individuals that want to live in the civilized world. You know, a world where the rule of law and not the law of the jungle dictates the conduct of mankind. All right? It's time for us to assert our authority and realize that we don't want to live in this jungle any longer. You understand? We, we don't want to continue to put up with these damn primitive concepts and have to acknowledge them with any type of pertinence whatsoever. It's time for capitalists to bring the world into modernity, whether they want to be brought into modernity or not. Because the, the longer we stay in these primitive concepts, uh, the, 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 the less and less chance of our continuity is possible. 
And that's the bottom line, folks.